how do we make ourselves this freshwater capital of the world. And we have this really unique opportunity on the Great Lakes in order to do that, and especially with what we have right here. One river at a time, Milwaukee is reclaiming its freshwater capital title. Thanks to a monumental cleanup and restoration effort, we now are returning to the very rivers that drew our ancestors here. You have this pristine environment of woodland, wetland, and wildlife that would attract thousands of people here for thousands of years. People came to Milwaukee because largely of the river. Back in the days when everyone traveled by water, that meant that wherever a river met the lake, you had a potential harbor. And that, that meant that places like Milwaukee had really the leg up in terms of competition for, for being the urban sites in this region. Milwaukee happened to have the best natural harbor on the western shore of the lake. That's why we're here. New settlers used Milwaukee's waters in many ways. First of all, transportation. And after transportation, it was water power. You had dams in a variety of places, and that provided a source of water power for everything from flour to textiles to paper. It was processed water for industries like tanning, uh, like brewing, and it was also a center of recreation. The river was, was warm, placid, and, and very accessible. Thousands of people on a summer Sunday afternoon would, would spend their days at the Milwaukee River. Despite their importance, the rivers were taken for granted. They were used and then abused. Development altered the landscape. Trees were cleared to make room for crops and rivers became dumping grounds for chemical and animal waste and for urban and agricultural runoff. And that was before we had the Clean Water Act. So until that time, people could do that sort of thing where they would start up businesses or industries. In some cases, they would release pollutants that at the time maybe weren't understood as really being as toxic as we know them to be today. With federal funding, Wisconsin DNR, along with partners in the local area, are removing toxic sediments, restoring fish and wildlife habitat, and improving Milwaukee's urban environment. And the benefits are apparent. So one of the things that we've seen when we've started going and cleaning up some of the areas is that we come in, we start removing some of the contaminants, and the waterway improves because we're also dredging, so that allows for better passage and better navigability of the waterways. And then we see that there's more waterfront development. The most visible changes are taking place here on the upper Milwaukee River. You have above the North Avenue Dam, the Milwaukee River Greenway, and people that all on their own have rediscovered it. And once the dam came down at North Avenue, all of a sudden you have dozens of game species you know, that are coming up the river. The fisher people have rediscovered this river, so it's, it's become a, a real first-rate resource. Downtown, the Riverwalk has brought people back in droves who would not have dreamed of using that, the river for recreation. The Milwaukee River is important to the city because this is, for many of us, our contact with nature. There are kids here who haven't seen the lake, but the river is right down the street from them. I think we need to value you know, this pipeline, this artery, this channel of commerce, recreation, transportation, and power that has always been key to Milwaukee's prosperity and remains so today.